I'm going to show you how you can make your camera be centered on a certain level, but when your character moves out of it, then the camera follows. And no matter the direction, it could be left, right, up or bottom, in my case it's up and down, it will still follow the player no matter what. And that gives us the cool effect that our game is split into the levels or areas. To better understand it, we need to check how the game is structured. Here you can see the most bottom level. A few seconds ago you can see that when our character has moved out of this frame, the camera followed up to the upper chamber. And this level was also split somewhere here, where I'm currently holding my mouse. And no matter if our character is going up or down, it will just change. So let's check how it's done. In the script of our player, I've got a few variables and those three will be important for us. Camera height, camera limit lower and camera limit upper. This is the number that we will add or remove from those two numbers to properly adjust the camera. Right above move and slide in the physics process, I've got move camera to match player. And that function is right below. Camera moves to follow the player when he gets out of the current scope. So if the position of our player that y is less than camera limit upper and that limit upper is currently zero. So this if is when our character is above the current camera scope. Then from the upper and lower limit we just do the minus equal camera height. And then we fire a signal with change camera pause dot emit camera limit upper. And we do the similar thing but the opposite when our player has fallen below the current camera scope. So let's focus on that signal. I've already done a few tutorials about signals, so make sure to check them out. But in short, we emit camera limit upper. And here is the signal, I've just added it here, change camera pause. And that's in the player script. But in the level script, where I've got our camera, you will have to connect it with that signal from our player. So I've got player script here, I'm clicking on it, and Godot just tells me that I've already added it. But click here and connect. The player position that I've passed, we can finally use here to change our camera. So we've got reference to our camera 2D, that position that y equals player's position. And that makes the camera be able to move according to our player's position. And that's all. Thank you for your time and have a good day.